Okay, you brought us such beautiful weather today, but as you said, there are problems with thunderstorms that occur in the afternoon. If you hear it, fear it, that's thunder. If you see it, lightning, flee it. So we're gonna talk about what happens if you get a direct hit from a lightning strike. According to the United States Weather Service, there's 50 to 100 deaths every year from uh, lightning strikes. It's the second most common cause of flood-related deaths. Most likely, I mean, obviously, drowning would be the one. If you're hit directly by lightning, a lot of people will say they have burns. The lightning really does not burn people, but the heat will transfer through necklaces, through metal objects, and that will burn the skin. The lightning in itself does not usually leave a burn. It hits the brain very easy. It hits the nervous system very easy. When it hits the brain, you may not recognize it even for 24 to 48 hours, and then you start having problems with attention span problems. You have difficulty going to sleep, and then later on you can't go to sleep, and later on you end up being more sleepy than you should. So it hits the central nervous system well. It hits the peripheral nerves where we start losing some feelings. It will hit the ears. Tinnitus, ringing of the ears, nausea, vomiting occurs directly. So it's a very, very serious thing. And long term, there's a one in 720,000 chance you'll get hit by lightning. But if you do, 90% of people survive, 10% die. The 90% that survive get the central nervous system and the peripheral nerve system problems and they're left as residuals. And so you end up with somebody that's gonna need caregivers. So how can we prevent that? Well, stay out of the, don't be the tallest person out in the field. Don't be in a boat, get out of water. If you're swimming in a swimming pool or at the lake, be sure you get away. Don't make yourself where you have a strike. And now be careful, have a good time, enjoy yourself. Now, questions from the viewer, uh, Dr. Bob, what happens if somebody recognizes a stroke and what do they do for you in the emergency room? Well, this happened to one of my good friends just uh, yesterday morning and where he developed obvious stroke, he was laying on the floor, he couldn't move his left side, he couldn't speech, he had uh, facial asymmetry. And so there are things, if we get to the emergency room, well, there is a TPA, a clot buster that we can use. But what I wanna to talk to do about today is, and what we're able to do now if we get to the emergency room in time is have somebody go up with a catheter into the artery that where the stroke is occurring and they can actually remove that. It's called thrombectomy. And so they can go out and pull that and immediately the blood flow goes to the brain. So remember, get to the emergency room quickly. Uh, as far as the intravascular thrombectomy, they're extending the time. Sometimes we can do it 24 hours later. Get to the emergency room, they'll take good care of you. And now, Sean, I heard you earlier talking about swimming pools and having a good time and about it being such a wonderful time, most common day in July for having, pro having uh, 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 meeting a mate. So back to you <laughs> and we'll talk about the fun of uh, summer swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> Dr. Bob.